क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव वी हैव टू वेरीफाई ईच एंड एवरी ऑप्शन एज इट इज मोर देन वन करेक्ट लेट इज राइट डाउन द एफ एक्स फंक्शन इट विल बी जी एक्स वेन एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो इट इज जीरो वेन एक्स इज जीरो एंड वेन एक्स इज लेस देन जीरो इट इज माइनस जी एक्स नाउ ए ऑप्शन इज एफ इज डिफरेंशियबल एट एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो to know the differentiability we must differentiate it as gx is given as differentiable function so it will be g dash x for x greater than 0 and minus g dash x for x less than 0 we can see the rsd of f dash at 0 is g dash 0 which is given as 0 and lhd is minus g dash 0 which is also 0 that's why we can apply the equality anywhere This gives us f dash x, and we can say the function f dash x is existing at x equals to zero. So a option is correct. F x is differentiable at zero. This is for a part. Now for b option, h is differentiable. For b, we will define function h x, which is e raised to the power x for x greater than zero, and for x less than zero, it is e raised to the power minus x. we can see h dash is e power x and minus of e power minus x this is for greater than 0 for this is less than 0 at 0 you can see rsd and lsd are both different that's why hx is not differentiable at 0 so b is wrong option now the c1 option c f o hx f o hx is f of e power mod x And e power mod x is positive, so we will apply this definition. It will become g of e power mod x. Now, g of e power mod x can be written as g e power x and g e power minus x. This is for x greater than equals to zero. This is for x less than zero. Now we will again differentiate. Let us consider it at z. Then z dashes g e raised to the power e x. g e power x e x and this is g dash e power minus x e power minus x with negative sign this is for x greater than 0 this is for x less than 0 at 0 you will see this is g dash 1 and this is minus g dash 1 and both cannot be same as g dash 1 is non zero since g dash 1 is non zero therefore we can say f hx function is not differentiable at 0 so c is wrong option now we will verify the d one for d it is h fx i am using differentiation we can go for first principle i will apply it in the last part h fx is e power mod fx now by using this definition i can say it is e power mod gx because even minus gx is not going to make any difference this is the function uh, let us name it as t this is tx function i will verify the differentiability of this function at zero using first principle as i promised earlier x approaching to zero e power mod gx minus e power g0 which is 1 because g0 is 1 Divided by x, I will divide and multiply it by mod g x. Then mod g x, I will divide and multiply it by mod x. This is just an arrangement, mod x upon x. Now this limit will be one. This limit is g dash zero, which is given as zero, and this is either one or minus one. In both the case, it will be zero. it means this is existing and your function hfx is differentiable at x equals to 0 that's why a and d both the options are correct